Hey everybody, we're back again with the uh, IBM 5150 here and I was under the impression that this was a 64 kilobyte unit because whenever you boot it into the basic ROM it says 64K available. Well I'm starting to suspect that it may not be a 64K unit but instead the full tricked out onboard 256K so I wanted to figure out how to find this out and what I came up with was to take the uh, compact flash card out of my IBM PS2 model 25 that has PC-DOS 5 on it with the mem command and put it in the 5150's reader so we're going to boot off of that and see what happens And what you'll see is it's going to throw a bunch of errors because this is a 8088 which does not allow um, HiMem.sys to be loaded. Um, it does not have a mouse installed. I don't have the Ethernet adapter in here the same way my PS2 Model 25 is. So what I need to do is um, I am going to uh, temporarily rename my configsys and auto exec that and I'll show you a neat trick for getting a um, uh, empty replacements uh, put in place even though we don't have the nifty uh, touch command found in the Unix operating systems. So the first thing I'll do is just rename my auto exec bat to auto exec dot ORI for original. And then I'll do the same thing for config sys. I keep going edit for some reason. Now I'm going to create blank versions of each of these files um, by using DOS console redirection which will instead of writing out whatever the output is to the screen it will write it to a file and we're going to use the rim command stands for remark which will actually output nothing and will enable us to have a blank file and you can see I've gotten no better with the 5150 uh, Model F keyboard but that's okay so now I've got a nice blank uh, auto exec bat and config sys in place so now I'm going to issue a uh, control alt delete will save us the memory countdown and it's going to boot with a clean um, auto exec bat and config sys so there's not all that um, gobbledygook no chance that anything's been loaded into memory that we didn't want so now I'll just do um, actually let me use the prompt command and I'll set uh, dollar sign P dollar sign G so that we can see what uh, directory we're in and now I'll just issue um, cd space dos and run the mem command and it will tell us this is a uh, 256k uh, unit okay and we can also do mem forward slash c and see how much of this is being taken up by various things so you can see here that um, DOS is taken up about 48.6k all by itself and the rest of this is uh, free
now just for fun let's see how much space that works takes up it's uh, Microsoft Works 1.0 Okay, so works is running. Okay, so we've got works running. And inside of works, we can go into the DOS prompt. So I'm going to say DOS. All we got to do to get out of it is type exit. And something I figured out was um, whenever you drop a uh, command prompt from works, you got to go to whatever folder you want to run something out of. It defaults to being in the works folder. So we'll do mem, and I'll just do the classify. That way we can see. And works takes up a ginormous 126k of RAM, but we still have 73 and a half k to do things with. So that's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. I know this video was kind of short. If you like this old computer stuff, make sure to like and subscribe. And my next video, I plan on showing off my IBM PS2 Model 25, including how I managed to get power out to the compact flash adapter that I ended up using for that build. Until then, Thanks and have a great day.